well hello there you two and welcome to a mostly sunny although it's supposed to rain it shows rain in one hour it's supposed to be a rainy day today i don't know how much but it's a uh, 60 and sunny at the moment it is a uh what is it 25th it is wednesday september 25th yeah i'm not complaining about the weather right now that sun beaming down feels really good Feels real nice. On that, a little mosey on to work and uh, get hump day underway. <laughs> All right. I think it's gained only one degree coming to work. There's been actually some patches of blue sky here and there, but most of it in between, man, it was dark. It turned yeah. the lights on. It's crazy. It never dripped the drop. My phone says rain in one hour. Yeah, it's supposed to do that today. Mm -hmm. well, Mama, it is hump day. It is, we're halfway there. Man, the week seemed to start so slow, and then um, I was like a day ahead of myself, and then all of a sudden, wait a minute, it's Wednesday already. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think too much about it, you get yourself ahead oh, again. Oh yeah, you'll get yourself all messed up. Yeah, how come it, you always get ahead and you never go, Oh my God, it's Friday, I thought it was Thursday. That's so that. rare. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often. Yeah. Anyway, Mom, yes, let's go in there and do the business. All right. Sounds All right. right. Have yourself a wonderful day. You too. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye bye now. Mm -hmm. Bye. I think I think I mentioned this, but got all done with this thing. Let yesterday, and I go upstairs, and and uh, I said, "Where's the RO for that thing?" And it turns out I had it down here. It was just off to the side, and I look at it. Job one. <laughs> Replace broken fender. When uh, you don't, um, you take parts of the pallet apart, and they tell you right in the PDI bulletin. I wish I could show you that stuff. I get in trouble when I do that. Um, it tells you, you know, certain boards to take out. It's angled because the spiders, you know, it's a it's a square box, but it's sitting in the crate this way. We have to roll it off. So you, it's like you lay a board down, and then this angled board. And you have a little short one over here. But if you don't, when that side rolls off, it catches that inner fender and hits the bottom of it and it cracks it right across there. And um, I was telling Kelly, the gal, nobody knows the or Somebody, whoever PDI'd it, knew that happened. I would think it'd be pretty hard not to because, um, yeah, we've done it before. It makes a very loud crack. But it snaps that that piece off, and this is where the where the color piece goes along. It's missing. But um, I forgot that was to be replaced. So I got that done. It's actually quite easy. And and you the store has to eat it. And basically, the bulletin says don't try to file a warranty claim on this because we know exactly what causes it. So oh, she's good. I didn't realize that. Of course, I haven't ridden it yet. She's got that riser kick, kit that kicks the floorboards up higher. And uh, it's very important you put that spacer in there because now your brake pedal is almost... Well, I can't lower it that much, but the brake pedal is almost level with the floorboard. Obviously, that, obviously that's dangerous. Oh, and I got all the fingerprints off of it yesterday. I was all giddy. So I'm, I'm going to call her... I've known her long enough. We have each other's phone number. Um, gonna see if I can get her to come down here while I still have it light. I had to lift it back up again because I like to be able to spin the wheel back and forth when I'm taking the fender off. Or actually, you have the wheel off when you do it because the fender, where it bolts together, it's it's too tight to come across the plastic guard. But with the window off, you can go back by the ball joint and slip it out of there. But I want her to come down and sit on this thing so we can do an initial setup for it. Because where it's sitting right now, I mean, that would that would gut me. I don't know if my leg would fit between that. So I have it, because generally they, they come from the factory with the bars, you know, the pins in there. And there's a slight bit of a slot there, so you have a little movement. They usually have it sitting all the way down. 
because people tend to pick themselves up with the bars. And, you know, if that thing's not perfectly torqued, it'll slide back and end up on that pin anyway. So that's usually the way they come. Well, I did that with that. And that's, that's way back there. But there's some adjustment here to move forward. Uh, I don't know. She just needs to come sit on it and see what she thinks. See if I can uh, get her to come down here because I got other things I need to do. Some of it I can do on the ground, but I need my lift. So I'll see if I can get a hold of her. If not, roll it off and uh, I guess I could throw it, the jack underneath it while it's on the floor. But I got to wallow around on the ground like a, like a sea lion to get the thing underneath there. Look, her BRP's been marking spots there. Anyway, all's good. A good to go, other than a handlebar adjustment. That's it. And the rain has returned. Let me kick you into auto white balance here. Oh, it's kind of stopped now. Got everything wet. I've got an old GS that was literally sitting right behind that snowmobile right there. You guys noticed it when I was doing the little DJI test things like yesterday. And then it started sprinkle, rolled around. That's the nice thing about those is they're, well, is they're uh, light enough you can, one person can push them. Well, you can push them all. It's just when you hit a hill. Well, like here, there's a, yeah, that's, it's not going to work. White balance. I wonder if it'll let me manually set the white balance while I'm recording. Will you? Oh, heck yeah. There we go. But the, I got a ramp over there. I, do, I just hate working on wet vehicles. I don't even know if this is on my schedule today. I think she's a, she's been a customer for a while. And, um, Anyway, turns over but doesn't start. I don't know the story if it's been sitting. It didn't get decently wet. But I know the original <clears throat> owner of this from way back. They, these are pretty sure they're 08s. Um, it was a husband and wife that had them. And they moved on to F3s and F3 Limiteds and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it, I haven't heard from them in a long, long time. And, uh, but anyway, I think it was probably 09 when they first started coming to us. You know, it was right after we, I had to, I had to be, uh, probably 2010. Cause we had spiders, but it was at our bin store. I think it may, it was 09 or 10. I think it was 09 when we officially became a spider dealer at our store in Longview. And then we ended up closing the Longview store and then it became, um, well, this store was here as well, but um, the spiders and everything came down here. They didn't have spiders, we had spiders. And a lot of our customers complained they were from the Portland, Vancouver area that they were having to go up north to Longview. Why don't you guys put the spiders in your other shop, which is this shop. And ultimately, we did. All that for a little history lesson. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Spider Richard. I'm a knucklehead and talking about these bars. And never told anybody what they were. They're Healy Bars. Healybar.com. So if you're interested in those bars, that's, that's who they're from. That's uh, another missed opportunity over the whole um, passport fiasco earlier this year. I'm still, I try not to even think about that because that just bums me out that I'd have got the, the grand tour of the factory and the whole division where they're doing the EV stuff. I mean, one of the, yeah. That's like being a kid and missing Christmas, you know. But anyway, uh, Spider Richard lives near the the factory up there, and um, 
we were chit chatting back and forth and we we're gonna sort of nothing i'm sure you'll be busy which you usually are when you go those you have a itinerary you know but uh, he said i'd like to buy you lunch or something just a few moments and get together yep didn't get to meet him either i, I just thought about that because he commented was asking you know are those aftermarket bars or i said yep they're healy bars see this you remember how you guys with spiders it was hollow bars and they had different you know heights so you just you bought this even though it's crazy expensive you just bought the bar here and you unbolted everything and and i just slid them in it's actually very easy for changing bars changing bars for 24 and newer not easy yeah and you can very easily damage that throttle if you don't follow their instruct although their instructions there's a worded part that's kind of cobbled but they got picture parts too well this is an official bolt or anything so you got step by i just washed my hands so it really dry so you got step by step stuff here and then there is a written out instructions as well so you can kind of follow the two together so if you got a question of you know what they're talking about there's that zip tie that's down in there it's interesting that you know things that you've learned and figured out yourself you'll pull the speaker grill out very important you get that zip tie undone because two things happen when you rip that it, it breaks that that clip apart and now these wires even though they got the sheathing on there it's run, running against sharp metal in there and I can promise you that is not going to end well. And um, not to mention, it can even, I know for a fact, it can damage the uh, trunk lock. Because I don't know how it, it's the cable that's there and it yanks it in a weird way. And I, I've had to replace two of those, those trunk lock things. You guys remember all the pieces here? It breaks them. There's a little brass piece in there that does the, you know, retains it when it's in lock position. And um, it breaks that. So anyway, there's instructions. Just don't go willy nilly yanking on stuff. Find some instructions somewhere. It will break things. Things can get broken. But before it was never a problem because you, well, you could do it with ease. That's kind of, that's not the same setup, but same idea. I can unbolt the bar and just pull it off the end. And that's the way um, spiders have been since day one. Well, now there's that one piece bar and there's a lot to take apart to get that thing out of there. <laughs> so anyway, my memory card showed up. I don't go any better, bigger than 256. Even on a GoPro sitting, running at 5.3K, I still get four plus hours. If you film four hours worth of stuff in a day, um, you got a nightmare to deal with when you get home. You gotta be uh, selective <laughs> what you record. I remember in days, but I was only shooting, you know, in the early days you could only uh, upload, well, actually it was 480p, and then I remember they went to 720p and I thought, oh man, my camera's not fast enough, you know? And then um, then 1080 was the cap for for quite a while. And I think it went to 2.7K or four, or maybe that happened at the same time, but anyway, you can upload 8K stuff now. But you're talking, especially, I set the cameras, you know, so everything's at the max and you know you deal with it but they're huge enormously huge files so but i found you know with the 512s they are uh, in and bigger they just i don't know they do not have the success rate um i actually had problems with 256s so i was always running 128s but now the 256s are are stone reliable maybe the 512s are now too but Dude, I, I never, ever have to change a, a card in, in a day, even with the 128s. 
it's just it's nice with the gopros the 12 and the 13 shooting at 5.3k those are enormous ungodly sized files and um anyway you gotta deal with all that stuff and you need to you know have a fairly modern computer or you can't even play them i can't i can't play a 5.3k a gopro file on this it just freezes up i hear the audio but the the video freezes this one's a much newer computer same thing can't handle them. macbooks which you know they're famous for photos and video stuff they just they don't even know it's there my ipad even my old ipad the 2016 what was that thing a uh, 10.5 inch or whatever which i have with me every day if i need something there she is she's she's still a rock star battery geez lasts forever and um you know the my current one that i use is a 2018 and now they're now they got m4 chips in there I don't know what mine is, a A14 or whatever it was back then. <laughs> and um, man, it doesn't miss a beat. Um, I have been noticing a little bit of, cause you know, like when I do like one of those rides that, you know, I've got, you know, 40 or 50 minutes worth of filming with Kelly and I, and that's all 5.3K. When I load all that into the hopper to, you know, chump it down, uh, chop it down to something that you know you guys are actually going to watch um and that, that, that sometimes every once in a while i'll get a little pause in the a little delay and um i mean i just comes right back but it's not like oh man the days of using them old windows things i don't even know how i survived through all that but um yeah it's the, the delay is just something you notice it doesn't hinder anything you just wait just a half second comes back but anyway that's massive and with that putting this in the um, action 5 pro and uh that thing the max it shoots is at 4k so i'll probably get you know five six hours out of this thing whatever it works out to be well look plus i got that internal memory too which was nice a little wonky trying to hook it up to the it took a a bit to get the windows to recognize it of course macintosh all of a sudden the hard drive just shows up on the screen the drag and drop and their write speed from cards and stuff through the computer the ports and stuff is just blazingly fast and um yeah so i'll get that put in click her in Sure it clicks. Shut, shut the dough. Show you how easy it is to format these things. Get it in the place where it focuses. Oh, well, that was a very slow. Yeah, I want to confirm. I want to switch to the SD card. But just go in, swipe over, go to storage. You always want to format your card before you use it. And when you're done with your, um, I don't think I have anything in the internal, but I'll go ahead and format. Yeah, that happened too quick. That's it. So I got 47.8 and uh, boy, that uses up some stuff. Got 238.16 or 0.1 gigabytes cool beans there we are i can use an sd card it's much easier to deal with the sd card because you can just pop them in and out cool beans well hello there youtube so, bite what it looks like it's been pouring down rain the whole whole way home oh yeah dumping yeah clouds are moving fast so we just got i even got my backpack off from getting home here so don't kill us so let's do a goodbye while we can because it can change in a flash yes it can and this is better than the porch yeah yeah i like being outside i just always have yeah so anyway hope uh hope you enjoyed the vlog on that we're gonna we're gonna roll out
Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Thank you. We'll see you in the morning. See you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>